Salutations. Welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP, the 365 day challenge round two. So, uh, so yeah, we're, we're done with satellites for, for now. And we're gonna be getting back to making sure that ODARP is, is set up for, uh, exploration and, uh, you know, pushing further into the Kerbin system. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's head over to the launch pad and we'll see what's what. Alrighty, here we have it. And, uh, as you can probably tell by the elongated fairing, it's not the, uh, the usual payloads. We're once again doing a power truss for ODARP. So, uh, let's, let's do this. So, I think this... This may well be the last uh, launch of one of these launchers that I do uh, in a while. Uh, I, I have been teasing that I've got a a new launcher for a while now, but uh, I don't know, I've been I've been testing it, been perfecting it, making sure it's all works the way I expect it to. Um, and I must say, I I. I really do like it. I vastly prefer it to uh, this current setup. Um, partly just because this this has a tendency to flip if you're not... like if, if you get aggressive with your turns it gets uh, tends to flip out. And I think that's... that's... I don't know. I, I might just be going too fast or something. I don't know. But... Uh, I've, I've really been enjoying my, uh, my new launcher. No, no spoilers yet. You'll see it when you see it. But, uh, it is, it is quite good. So, and it's complex, and there's things to talk about, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. So, we're just about to get stage one cut off. Shot a little bit, yeah. Yeah, we did. Well, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up my my rendezvous, and uh, I'll come back when we're done. So I'm back briefly, and I uh, we're now actually on our intercept. But I just saw something cool that uh, maybe you can appreciate. Turns out I'm coming awfully close, just by chance, on my. Uh, my intercept here to uh, to one of the satellites. Actually, that's the uh, backup set um, in its parking orbit. So that's that's KBN three B. So that's got the second set of four satellites. Where'd it go? It's above us now. There, it, there it is. Wow, real close. How cool is that? Bet we could even... Yeah, there it is. How wacky is that? Anyway, uh, once again, I'll, I'll see it our, uh, see it our, um, rendezvous. So, once again, not at our rendezvous, but, uh, we're actually in visual range of ODARP now. You see that little, little white dot? Can't really... It's very faint, but it says ODARP on it. <laughs> and it's moving, uh, relative to the ground, so... You can actually see it before it, uh... Before it even tells us it's there. Which I think is pretty cool. It's 
about to go dark though. There it is. See? Can't see anymore because it's not reflecting all that light. Alright, so yeah, our, our, uh, our speed relative to target is pretty high. But, uh, and I know it's hard to see, it's very dark, YouTube makes everything dark, but, uh, well, just bear with me. There we go, that's physics range. So we should be at, like, uh, 500, 400. Yeah, overshot a little bit, but not by much. All right. So we're gonna thrust uh, over to one side, essentially. And then we're gonna flip around. Mostly we're looking to ru uh, null out our velocity, and uh, we'll just basically go on over the night or to the uh, day side. And there goes our booster, far away. Just zip around uh, to the day side. Should be coming up here any minute. Alright. You can see Odarp shimmering over there. Just the edges of it. So we'll point at our target. And this is another one of those uh, fancy schmancy uh, double docking ports, so we've got to get both of them to connect. So that's going to be tricky. We're going to come in above the target, which we don't really want to do, but um, yeah, it's all right. Alright, so let's select our docking port. So we want that docking port. We won't change uh, what our control is, but we are gonna basically we are gonna use the last of our um, the the main engine just one more time. That's just to get below the target.
we're just gonna slow ourselves right down. And we're going to select control from here. Turn off Kerbal Engineer, bring up our docking computer. Alright, so this is going to be a little tricky. And I am going to use um, RCS for attitude adjustment, um, even though I don't usually, just because this is such a weird payload. Because you got to control it from off to the side, essentially. Such a weird payload. I like it. It definitely has its uh, its appeal. All right, I am gonna let the uh, rotation slowly take over by itself just because the roll needs to be particularly precise all right so going to We're going to get a bit closer. You know what? Let's go a meter a second. And we'll stop about five meters away, do our final adjustments. And, uh, whoa, we actually overshot there quite a lot. We're going to start slowing down here. Part of the problem is because it's kind of oddly shaped, it tends to wobble, which is really not what I want, but... Alright. So we're gonna... Sorry, I'm not able to kind of put more time into getting my uh, my camera angle just so, but uh, yeah, I'm having to be very, very careful 
with my alignment because I need both of these ports to dock. Question. Undock. Undock. Hey! Score. So we are going to control from here. Rotate around so you can see it in all its glory. Notice that we have kept both of these uh, upper stages, and they are what is going to propel ODARP KBNB, which is uh, node one and two, and both power trusses to its uh, to a different orbit. The other thing you'll notice is that it doesn't have the uh, the complex communications array on the other uh, power truss. That's because we've got an airlock, which is important. So, yeah, cool beans. Anyway, this has been kind of a long episode just because docking was so long and so complicated. But, uh, anyway, I've been Fox, this has been KSP. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And Donner has too. Anyway, take care. <laughs>